everybody, I am Wilgris, and this is episode 5 of my Ocarina of Time Legendary Mode playthrough. Oh yeah, episode 5. So, let's get the show on the road. That mountain not looking too good. Can end up having to go there, I'm sure. Wrong one. I just sat listening to the uh, background music in the Temple of Time, which happens to be a like priestly choir version of the Song of Time. Sat so there listening to it because I was uploading a video, and I didn't want this Project 64 to um like bug out and have super low frame rate so I just waited for it to finish uploading so I just sat there for like five minutes listening to the priestly choir version of the song of time and because Navi is not helping us I'm going to tell us what we have to do we have to go to death mountain death mountain is next Night forest fire. That's definitely fire. That not quite sure, not quite sure, not quite sure. Although this is kind of the opposite of that, so that's shadow. And I know that's fear and I know that's water simply because I played the game before. Alright, that's enough of that. I don't know why but I love doing that little making it freak out like that. I just I don't know why, but I do. So we probably could have taken a shortcut, gone through the forest, but I don't care. This is probably just as close, actually. Oh, now you're going to tell me? That cloud over Death Mountain, there is something strange about it. Yeah, I'm already going to check it out. Can't you tell that? It's supposed to be a bright bubble of knowledge, like I said last episode. Red tech tyke. Dead. Oh. Really? There we go. Give me my arrows back. It's alright. As long as I don't die on the way up there, I'll be able to get my health back. I would use those stones, but that happens. And I'm just not gonna stick around. No Gorons. Suspicious. Oh wait, you guys already saw that. Magic rocks of health. It's over here. Oh yeah, this room. Come back later. If we come back at all. All that's in there is a bunch of money. So they might have changed that, but I kind of doubt it. Oops. Alright. Normally I just try and drop it in front of them off of the platform, but it fell off, so we'll do it this way. Got him on the first try. Sweetness. How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant. 
Hear my name and tremble. I am Wilbrus, hero of the Gorons. No, you ain't. That's me. Who are you to call yourself me? I am me. You are you. What? Your name is also Wilbris? Yes, I just said that. Then you must be the legendary Dokdongo Buster and hero Wilbris. Um, okay. If you say so. My dad is Darunia. Ah, okay. Do you remember him? Dad named me Wilbris after you because you are so brave. Sweet. I'm already a hero. Awesome. It's a cool name. I really like it. You better. I came up with it myself. Wilbris, you're a hero to us Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Cool, I already got a fan. And an autograph. Cool. Oh. I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. What's going on, man? I already noticed shit's going down. My dad, Bruni, I went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. A dragon. Awesome. I always wanted to meet a dragon. If you don't hurry up here, my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Well, that's no good. I guess I have to kill the dragon. Even better. I'm not even gonna try and replicate that. Better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him? What do you want to ask him? About the dragon, of course. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagaya living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. It's kind of strange considering the Gorons are the rock people that eat rocks. So I guess this is a rock eating dragon, too? Oh, whatever. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons BURN! Destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. Probably true except for the one hit thing. But that's okay. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero, which makes you a descendant too, man. Got the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagaia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagaia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagaia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Wilmoth. I'll give you this heat resistant tunic. Which is a Goron tunic, even though Gorons don't wear tunics, that fits you as a human and is somehow heat resistant even though it's cloth. That is like a magic thing though. Whatever. But then the weirder thing is the Kokiri tunic, which is made for little kids, somehow grows in size with you. And just uh, FYI to you guys, I'm probably never going to take this off except for the uh, um, water temple. That's the one. Oh yeah. Just a shortcut. Otherwise we would have had to go to the top of Death Mountain. I just don't want to do that. This way. Oh, I had it. What? Come on. There we go. Ow, snaps. He's not even wearing a Goron tunic. Another funny thing, the tunic includes the hat, even though the hat was not shown anywhere and the hat is not part of a tunic. It is something that grows over time, a true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero of Fire. This is my favorite song that you can play. Probably, 
probably the main reason why it's my favorite one is because it was the first one I was actually able to memorize at like five years old when I first played the game. And on top of that, this is like super awesome. Ocarina is glowing again. What the f is up with all these freaking songs, man? Why can't I learn something normal for once? Wilbur, I'll see you again.